The Wars of the Roses by Alison Weir is a meticulously researched and captivating historical novel that delves into the tumultuous and complex period of English history known as the Wars of the Roses. Weir's narrative skillfully combines historical accuracy with a vivid storytelling style, offering readers a vivid and immersive experience into the political intrigues, power struggles, and personal dramas that define this turbulent era. The novel is set during the 15th century in England, a time when the country was torn apart by a bitter and prolonged conflict between the rival houses of Lancaster and York. The novel primarily follows the lives and fates of key historical figures, such as Margaret of Anjou, Queen of England and wife of Henry VI, and Richard, Duke of York. Weir paints a vivid picture of these characters, making their motivations, strengths, and flaws come to life. Through their perspectives, readers are transported to the heart of the Wars of the Roses, allowing them to understand the human dimensions of this historical conflict. One of the novel's strengths is Weir's ability to combine historical accuracy with narrative flow. She meticulously researches the period and its key events, which is evident in the book's detailed descriptions of battles, court life, and political maneuvering. However, she never allows her historical research to overwhelm the story. Instead, she seamlessly weaves historical facts into the narrative, making it accessible and engaging for readers who may not be well versed in the intricacies of this period in English history. Weir's characterization is another highlight of the novel. She presents complex and multidimensional characters who evolve throughout the story. Margaret of Anjou, for instance, begins as a young and hopeful queen, but as the war rages on, she transforms into a formidable and resolute figure who is determined to protect her husband's throne. Richard, Duke of York, is similarly portrayed as a character whose ambitions and loyalty to the Yorkist cause drive the narrative forward. The character development throughout the novel is compelling and adds depth to the historical events it depicts. The Wars of the Roses, as depicted by Weir, is a maelstrom of political intrigue and shifting allegiances. The novel vividly conveys the complex web of alliances and rivalries that defined the era. The power struggles between the Lancastrians and Yorkists are presented as a dangerous and treacherous game, where loyalties can change at the drop of a hat, and betrayal is a constant threat. Weir's narrative skillfully navigates this complexity, making it accessible to the reader. The novel is not limited to political and military aspects of the Wars of the Roses, it also delves into the personal lives and relationships of its characters. Weir explores the family dynamics, romances, and rivalries that shape the destinies of these historical figures. This adds a human touch to the grand historical narrative and allows readers to connect with the characters on a personal level. While The Wars of the Roses is a rich and engrossing novel, it does have some weaknesses. The sheer number of historical figures and events can be overwhelming at times, and readers who are not already familiar with the period may find it challenging to keep track of all the characters and their roles. Additionally, the novel's focus on certain characters, such as Margaret of Anjou and Richard of York, means that other key figures are given less attention. This selective focus could leave readers wanting more insight into the motivations and perspectives of other important individuals involved in the conflict. In conclusion, Alison Weir's The Wars of the Roses is a remarkable historical novel that brings to life the turbulent and multifaceted period of English history known as The Wars of the Roses. Weir's meticulous research, skillful characterization, and engaging narrative style make the book an accessible and immersive reading experience. While the novel may be challenging for readers unfamiliar with the era, it offers a compelling blend of history and storytelling, shedding light on the intricate web of political intrigue and personal drama that defined this pivotal period in English history.
It is a must-read for history enthusiasts and anyone who enjoys a well-crafted historical novel.